I'm meteorologist Michael White here in the Fox 10 Storm Tracker Center. So far, the weather has been sensational for your Tuesday. Nonstop sunshine, and we're going to continue to see temperatures climb all the way into the upper 60s with no threat for rain. Now, there is going to be a little rain possible tomorrow, not much. The bigger rain chance comes Thursday, and the winds are going to be howling as this system right now in the Rockies sends a trailing cold front in our direction. Now, the front is going to bring us an increase in rain coverage for Thursday. The winds are going to ramp up and yes, there's going to be the risk of strong to severe storms. Now at this point, the severe weather risk zone is a two out of five for Clark, Washington and Green counties and a level one for everyone else. Now, if you've followed severe weather for a while on the Gulf Coast, you know that the risk zones are going to change between now and Thursday. And at this point, you don't need to focus too much on where you fall in the map as far as whether you're in a zone one or uh, level one or level two. Just know that everyone on the Gulf Coast has the risk of strong to severe storms. The main time window of these storms will be Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. The main risks will be gusty winds. However, an isolated tornado is possible. Temperature at lunchtime, mid 60s. School pickup time, upper 60s. Perfect with low humidity and then upper 50s as we hit 6 o'clock. The temperature is cooling off nicely. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast. Cloudless for today and tonight. Then we hit Wednesday and here you go with those isolated offshore to onshore showers by by afternoon, then we run forward into Thursday morning. The coverage of the offshore rain begins to increase. The winds ramp up. The severe threat begins in the afternoon, and there's your cold front crossing I-55 at 2 o'clock, approaching Leakesville, Chatham, and Thomasville by 6. And these storms can pack a punch. They will cross I-65 by about 10. They will weaken through the night. By midnight, they should be east of Bruton and east of Gulf Shores, and then cooler air will dive in just in time for your Friday. Today we're expecting upper 60s, a perfect day with a light southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, we're going to bottom out in the upper 40s, not as cold with clouds gradually increasing. And here's how the next seven days stack up. We get the big rain and storm chance along the front. Then look at this Friday. The high drops down to the mid 50s, but that cold snap is going to be short lived. We're already back in the mid 60s by Sunday for Mardi Gras plans. Things look great for the weekend. Rain chances 10% or less. And for a lot of you, it's a three day weekend. Monday's President's Day. There will be 40% coverage of showers and highs will jump to the upper 60s. Jennifer and Jason, they'll post updates to the forecast and on Fox10TV.com and our social media channels later on this afternoon. Have a wonderful Tuesday and enjoy that sunshine.